um hi professor Stouse. so one of the times i um let my barrier block me from communicating is when um my example would be like my mom is rough around the edges type of attitude and sometimes i have a hard time telling her how i really feel about certain things um i let my self-doubt really get the best of me and i'm like i shouldn't say that it's going to make her angry i shouldn't do this i shouldn't do that even though i know that i should so i can get my point across that she could try to understand me a little bit better um i kind of do that in past relationships um i had a previous boyfriend where I wasn't really talking much I kind of felt like I had to be almost perfect um, in reality you know you don't have to be perfect but I would let myself like think oh maybe I shouldn't say things or um, my fear of judgment um, withheld me back also because I was just like oh you know um, the retaliation afterwards, it's not going to be nice, so maybe I shouldn't say it, and maybe I'm not right, and all this other stuff, but in reality, like, I, I might be right, or I, I should speak up and be an effective communicator when, um, it allows me to let other people understand who I am, and my authentic self, and knowing myself better also, and don't feel ashamed about what I have to say when people do want to say hear what I have to say and what I say is important to other people not to everyone and understanding that opinions are just opinions they're not going to hurt me um I know that those are some of my big barriers overthinking is also one of my big barriers is just like I tend to sit there and overthink situations maybe um, I know what I want to say, but I sit there and overthink what I'm about to say. And then at that point, I talk myself out of saying it because I let self-doubt and then I let the combination of overthinking and judgment just attack me. So those are like three things that really get to me sometimes. So, yeah.